What is up, YouTube, and welcome back to the Buffalo Bills Madden 20 franchise mode. Last episode, we dominated the Jets. Josh Allen had himself a game, and now your week two will take will be taking on the Giants. But like I said, I wanted to play with want to play with the team a little bit, and I would say some positions I want to upgrade. Not really a problem as much as I thought. Receivers really showed out, especially Cole Beasley had a big catch. John Brown is a beast. Say Jones is good too. But I still I think I want to get that one receiver I was talking about. And running back wasn't that bad either, but uh, I don't know. I just think I have to get rid of both these guys. Sean McCoy wasn't bad, but he's just not... I don't know. I gotta see what running back I could get. Now, coming to the Bengals, like I said, A.J. Green, 90 overall, superstar X-Factor player, absolute beast. Just to have him and and uh, Josh Allen, that could be crazy. And I never really played much with Andy Green, A.J. Andy Green, A.J. Green, so I think this will be a good pickup. So, they need a D-tackle. We have quite a bit. We're not trading at Oliver. We have Harrison Phillips and Star Lutelele. Star Lutelele has a big contract. AJ Green has 11.5 cap hit, so it's not as much we're taking on. And this alone is really close, but Star Lutelele, you know, it's mad and logic. I like to kind of make it a little realistic. So I was thinking we could probably just give up a fourth and that'll do it. I'm thinking, should we give up a second? Uh, or should we just do the fourth? I was thinking of giving up like maybe a third. You know what? I don't even think the fourth would do it. So let's try a third this year and start with Tulele for AJ Green, who will be our best player. And ooh, that is really close. So the fourth would have not even done it. So we'll do a third and then a sixth for next year. So the Bengals trade us. AJ Green for Star Lutelele, who is our third string D tackle, so I'm sure he'll probably start for them. And they get two extra picks for an aging receiver. He's still good, but also the thing is they still get a high contract. So we add a sick receiver, even though our receivers did play well, and now he's getting 12. Oof. That's fine. But now do we move out? I mean, John Brown is a beast. I'm keeping John Brown. Do we move out Zay Jones? I don't know if much... I mean, Cole Beasley, he's got... Oh, he's only got normal with the potential. Does any teams really like Cole Beasley? Obviously, they like him. Bron okay, so a lot of teams like Cole Beasley. The thing is, what we could do... Since Cole... We could probably trade Beasley, and then we could go Green, Zay Jones, John Brown, which is... A, I, know, I like that. So what teams... Oh, wait, let me bring him back up. Really like... So the Buccaneers like him, because then maybe I might look... What is... What... Mike Evans is a 2.5 cap hit. What is that gonna do? What does this do? I swear, like last year, like a seven cap hit. I have no idea. Levante David, we could probably get rather easily, but that's a huge contract. Um, Demar Dotson. Our offensive line did play well, so we don't really need offensive line. Ooh, what is OJ Howard? What is that looking like? Oh wow. So this is what I'm thinking because we have Tyler Croft. Croft played very well, and O.J. Howard has star potential. I didn't play with O.J. Howard, o. J. Howard last year, but to have a one-two punch of O.J. Howard and Tyler Croft, that could be deadly. So I'm going to come back to that. Let me just take a look at other players you could possibly get. Chris Godwin. Nothing really. Shaquille Barrett. Who is this guy? Star potential at 78, and he's a 26-year-old. He's been five years in the league. Jason Pierre-Paul, a 14.2 cap it. James Winston with 20.2. What in the world? All right, so let's move on to another team. The Cardinals have interest in him. Let's just see if maybe Bad Logic is. Let's just see what this gets us. That's what I thought. We're not getting Kyler. Patrick Peterson, I don't know if really that will do much. Yeah, because Patrick Peterson has good. He's still rather young. I mean, David Johnson... DJ Swearinger is a guy who I really like and I might want to bring to the team. We'll come back to him. The Kansas City Chiefs, obviously, do they really need a receiver? Yeah, whoa, Sam Watkins 11.5 cap hit. I was thinking of bringing him back to Buffalo, but not that price. I'm good. 
Tyree Kill is probably such a cheat code in this game. It's probably not even fair. Uh, Kendall Fuller or Tyree Matthew. Be did, what franchise did we do that we bought Tyree? Did I do a franchise that I bought Tyree and Matthew to the team? Did, was it the Giants one? I don't remember. But Kendall Fuller, a high cornerback. I think he's kind of hard to get. Yeah, he's very hard to get. And I don't even know why the Redskins got... Did the Redskins just not sign him? Because I thought he was pretty good with the Redskins, but... I don't know, there's no one really here. The Colts like him too. Quinton Nelson we could probably get, but we're just going to leave that. I don't really think we need a left guard. I think that's like one of our best. Darius Leonard. I'm sure this one. Yeah, I'm just trying to try my luck here. Because I want to see really what we can get. Malik Hooker wouldn't be a bad option either. Jabal Shears got such a high cap it. Uh, do, 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 do. We could definitely get a pick for him. I want to see what Daniel Jones is like. Just in case they do that, I'm not going to. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm just gonna. I want to see like Daniel Jones. Like, let's see a six-round pick for Daniel Jones. <laughs> we could probably. You could probably get him for pretty cheap, and he's got pretty decent stats for a 65 overall. So the Giants, I mean, we could get, probably get their first round pick, but that's not realistic at all. First round pick for... Wow, Daniel Jones is normal freaking development. Jabril Peppers is a guy I really like. Star potential at 85, he's a beast. And to bring 85 with a strong safety, let's just see. I mean, I don't know if they would do this in real life. Yeah, he's got high development. Plus, I don't think they would exchange him. Sterling Chevrolet would be pretty fun to use, but uh, like I said, I don't think I need another running back. A running back, wide receiver. You know what? Fournette's 81. What does that get us? Ooh. Cole Beasley. And you know what we could do? This trade kind of makes sense, unless we could throw them Frank Gore. Because, I mean, for the Jaguars, they don't have the... I mean, I don't think they would do it in real life. They don't have the best receivers, so they get a good receiver. And let's just say Fournette. He had a injury plagued last year. Or last season. So they get Frank Gore, who's kind of similar to Fournette. What is Fournette's... Wow. Leonard Fournette only has normal development rate? That's crazy. But he's still got 92 speed, 90 trucking. I think I'm going to do this. Cole Beasley and Frank Gore for Leonard Fournette, our new running back, and that was accepted. Might have been a little bit of overpay, but we'll take that. So now we have Leonard Fournette as our running back, which I'm really liking that. Now we could probably try to trade away. Now we have Fournette and DJ Elden back together. I don't know if we want to trade away McCoy. Are there any teams that really want him? Like Green? I don't think so. I don't think there'll be any. I'll be surprised. No. So there's none. But we could definitely get like a pick for him. I could maybe look around, see who really needs a running back. So we kind of, so we got a new running back and we got a new receiver. And we traded, so what else can, I feel like there was something else I wanted to trade. Uh, we have two backup tight ends that maybe could draw some interest from some teams. Okay. So we could try to get rid of that guy. But actually, I want to see, because who was... Trent Murphy is our backup left end. We do not need him. Do the Buccaneers want him? Ooh, yes. Because I'll take a trip right back to Mr. O.J. Howard here. Where does that get us? Oh, my God. Straight up, Trent Murphy for O.J. Howard. Wow. Madden logic right there. I would have threw in an extra pick for them, but okay. I'll take that. So Josh Allen getting a lot of weapons. I feel like I want to upgrade my cornerback position. I don't know who to target. Nor do I know who to trade away anymore. But there is that tight end that we could trade away right now. That drew interest from some teams. You could also trade away this guy. Well, this guy, now he's wanted from the Buccaneers. Since they just traded away. Do they have any good corners? Hargraves. Oh my god. Corners are so bad. What about Greedy Williams? 
hidden potential. Ooh. Greedy Williams could be fun to play with. Do they want? They don't need. No. But we could find something. Sheldrick Redwine, the guy from Miami. Wow, his stats kind of suck. Uh, unless we want to try to get greedy. What else? What do they need? Cornerback. Unless we want to see if they want to exchange somebody. I'll just offer one of these guys. No. Levy Wallace. Do they want to exchange? I always want to see. No, 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 no. Left outside, we have... 71. No. Matt Milano, I'm not going to give up. Middle linebacker. I'm not going to give up Tr Tremaine. I'm thinking, should I try to go and get Terrell Edmonds? And reunite the brothers? But, I don't know. Is there any... I mean, the, I don't know how good the defense played. I don't think we need such a good... I mean, because we have a good number one corner. I'd say we need a number two. Xavier and Howard, who just got paid big, big bucks. Do we want to try to see if we can make a move for him? Uh, left guard. Let's just see where that gets us. Yeah, he's he's thing has like star potential, so it's gonna be hard to get him. So we're not gonna go after him. Ronald Darby, Sidney Jones. Sidney Jones could. Ooh, and he's got star potential. I kind of like Ronald Darby. Let's see if we can make a move for Ronald Darby. I don't know what to give up. Can't give up Shaq Lawson. Let's just see where Matt Milano gets us. Yeah, so maybe maybe we'll hold out for now. Because we'll, we'll play this game with our defense. We still have a good defense. We'll play this game with our defense. And... Uh, Oh, we still have McCoy. We're just gonna—I'm just gonna ship McCoy off. So we'll play. We're gonna play some defense in this game against. Oh wow, Tyler Croft and OJ Howard. Now we have AJ Green. I'm gonna go John Brown in the slot. Zay Jones number two. Zay Jones, who does that, what does he do? That weird get up thing he does. So, alright. So, definitely upgrade the offense. The pass. That's really what we upgrade. Made some good trades. So, let's take a look at the defense. Didn't really upgrade anything. But Ed Oliver's already getting the. Get the power rush, whatever that was. Yeah, I want to see his. Still hitting right, play 50 downs. Their defense is still solid. I just think maybe we could use another corner. But we'll, we could, we'll, we'll stick with what we got. I think we're, we will be all right. So Patriots kind of makes the most sense. Shaq Mason's usually pretty easy to get, and we also need a right guard. I think we I think we just can't pass up this opportunity. Do they want Jason Chrome too? It's Tyler Croft and Jason Chrome. Or Chrome. What about Lee Smith? Let's just try that. So Jason Chrome. So we'll try to get an extra pick. Tyler Croft and him. Yeah, we're not going to get a third. We could probably get like a fifth. We'll try fourth. No, forget it. Just going to go with that. Oh, that's not even... Damn it. That's not even going to do it. What else do they need? A wide receiver. Do we have any extras? McKenzie, if you want to throw in there. No, they're not interested. Right ends. I feel like we have a backup right end. No, but do they want him? No. Let's just give them like a fifth round pick because this is actually going to help us out let's just try sixth I don't think that's going to do it no uh, what about
about fourth in next year's draft. That's close, so if we give them a fourth this year, that should do it. I should try to go fifth, go fifth. So we'll be trading two tight ends and a fifth round pick. Oh my god, come on. For a girl could and new Oh, are you serious? Do we have a third? Alright, third round pick. That's gonna get it done. 